Well, this shelter from the storm won't actually open its doors until the tornado watch has been issued for Rankin County. The emergency management director tells us this facility will remain open until all severe weather alerts have been lifted and the all clear given. Authorities now urging people to make sure their smartphones are set to receive weather alerts and also keep a working NOAA weather radio handy so you won't miss any threats coming toward your neighborhood. Please do not try to rely on this 60 and 70 year old technology of these outdoor early warning weather sirens because this is old technology and they are exactly what they are, outdoor early warning weather sirens. Now, county road crews have spent the day getting ready. They've been gassing up chainsaws and checking to make sure other heavy equipment they will need is all ready to go and will be working properly in case those crews have to quickly jump into action to remove debris from roadways or streets. For now, we're live in Brand on Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Yeah. Thank you, Ross. Keep us posted on what's going on in Brandon there. You know, our crew is really spread out throughout the metro this evening as we're in this waiting period. 16 WAPT's Grayson Gordon live in Canton with how that city is preparing, Grayson. Emergency crews are preparing here in Canton by doing one thing, and that's making sure that this Canton Multi-Complex Center is open. Now it can hold hundreds of people, according to the mayor here. So that'll be available for anyone who needs to take shelter tonight. Now I'm going to walk over here and show you kind of the conditions that we're looking at right now. If you can see the sky, these clouds are definitely moving in. This wind is picking up right now, even though it is still pretty sunny out here. So we're going to be monitoring everything that's going out here in Madison County today, and we will bring you all the updates as we have them. We're pretty live here in Canton. Grayson Gordon, 16 WABT News.